Good morning, everybody. Happy Monday. Um, what I'm going to do for Makeup Monday today is I am actually going to do a makeover, but I'm also going to go over all the sale items we have this month. Last month, I just kind of let them slip by me until at the very end of the month, I didn't realize how much was on sale. And the sale prices and the pollution solution kit is on sale, plus we get our full 25% or 30% discount, what, which, wherever you're at. And if you are not, um, I'm sorry, I'm trying to get the screen a little clearer. If you're not at the 35% discount level, why aren't you? All you have to do is get two recruits and your discount goes from 25% to 35%. So if you wanna get the best deals and order, you know, whenever you feel like it, take advantage of sales and get the 30, because oftentimes by the time you do the 25%, plus your 35%, you know, and maybe you only want one of something, you want to try it, it ends up being a little bit better than BOGO. So I want to go over with you what all was on sale. So if my face looks just a little shiny, it's because I have on the Beauty Parfait. Um, I saw someone else doing this and I thought, why haven't I ever done this before? They put the Beauty Parfait on while they do their eye makeup. So that way when you remove it, um, you remove all the fallout. So that's what we're gonna do real quick here. I'm gonna start with, this is my favorite palette we've ever had. Um, mine, mine upstairs is very loved and used, <coughs> and I just dropped this one getting ready for the video and I broke the highlighter in it. But why I love this so much is because I have bronzer, highlighter, two blushes, and six eyeshadows. And these eyeshadows make great brow products, they make great liners, so, um, that's what I'm gonna do. So first, I'm gonna start with this silver color right in here, and I'm gonna grab a mirror, and I'm gonna try to do this quick. I've got on a t-shirt, my hair's thrown up, so I'm trying to be really, really, um, you know, not as fancy today. But this is my favorite eyeshadow lid color of all times ever. It's just that silvery color that a lot of you tell me you don't know what to do with it. It's gonna look really funny having because I do it backwards, you should do your eyes first because you end up with a mess, especially me because I use a lot of really dark products. Um, but I tend to do it backwards. It's like my eyes don't look right until the rest of me is done. Okay, and then I'm going to take my blending brush that comes in our brush set and I'm gonna use this medium, it's called um, Chili this kind of reddish brown color right there as sort of a um, transition color. And you guys that are watching, ask some questions. Let me know that you're on and what I can do for you. I always start at the outer corners and I go in. I'm gonna see if I can zoom in just a little. Okay, up close and personal. Okay, so zoom in. And I go, I used to didn't go all the way across, but these days my eyes are more hooded. And so I'm actually taking the darker color, you know, all the way in, whereas I didn't used to do that. But now I need to kind of cut off some of that extra skin. You know that when you have skin, you're trying to recede, dark colors push them back, whereas light colors push them forward. Every time I use this palette, people always ask me, what am I wearing? Because they love the color combinations. Um, okay, and then I'm going to take my eyeliner brush and I'm going to spritz it with a little of my Setting Shield, which you got in your beauty club. If you didn't, it's not too late. Hop in the beauty club, send me a message, let me know you want to join. And I'm going to use this bottom color that I am obsessed with. I wish we had that in a single. I like it so much. And I'm going to line my eyes with it. So I start at the outer corner and I just, and I'm not super careful. If I'm going to a wedding or a party or something, I'm gonna use my magnifying mirror. Um, then, you know, I'll take the time to be really careful. But one good thing about having this mask on my face is when I remove the mask, I'll remove all the fallout from this really dark shadow. This is my favorite go-to, you know, liner because it's kind of like a gray, and it's like a black and a brown kind of got married and it's got just ever so slightly a little smidge of sparkle and then i'm going to come in here with this coppery color 
right there, and that's called um, Sugar Plum. A lot of you have this palette from Old Beauty Club, but if you love it like I do, and mine is missing a lot of colors, it's on sale really cheap, and we had, Orly had run out of those, and, um, and because of the sale, oh goodness, see all the fallout um, that I have right there? I'm gonna go ahead and clean some of that up because I just can't look at that. Um, but I'm gonna come back with the coppery color and do liner underneath. Um, and remember, there's already some dark on here. So it's got the copper and the dark kind of mixed together. Um, and then just a little bit of this really dark mocha color called hot cocoa, just sort of right there to darken up my corner. Now, if I were really truly, you know, as bummy as I am today, not doing a whole lot, um, I would just stick my finger in like this copper color and just do my whole lid, throw on some mascara, call it a day. And I'm gonna dip this in that highlighter that I cracked and just kind of blend all of that together up there. Okay, now I'm going to take my wet cloth and remove, oh goodness, I look like I have a black eye, and remove my mask. That really is such a smart thing to do. I mean, I don't know why I don't do my eyes first. I do people's eyes first when I'm doing weddings or proms or something like that, but um, I don't do my own, and it really takes away all the, you know, the mess, the fallout. Okay, I had on the Beauty Parfait mask. I'm really dry from all the traveling I've done lately, and this is such an intensive mask. You know, yogurt mask, probiotics are really having a moment. People are really loving, you know, anything that says probiotic in it, and they and it's a real popular DIY facial, taking your own yogurt and doing your own thing. <coughs> um, this is yogurt papaya, so it's very slightly, mildly exfoliating, nothing aggressive. Um, and, and of course, aloe, so it's super intensive hydrating. So if you're very dry, like I've been so dry, especially around the eye area, um, I've seen where Ryan Christopher, our esthetician with the company, he slept in this when he was traveling because his skin was really dry. So you can sleep on it, sleep in it as a treatment, it's so gentle, but mine has been on about 20 or 25 minutes waiting to start the video, so I feel so moist and so hydrated. Um, it's, you know, it's topical probiotics, and it's so easy to use. You literally just swipe it on, let it sit 5, 10, 15 minutes, and then don't rub it, you know, just kind of pat it away. Okay, so now the Guardian is also another sale product, so I'm going to put just a little Guardian, and the Guardian was our first sort of anti-pollution product that we came out with. And you know now we've really extended that line with our City Detox and our Set and Shield, and of course, my favorite, the um, Cloud Cream. So the, the Guardian has green tea, peppermint, aloe, witch hazel, and lemongrass. And a lot of you have that product and you're not sure what to do with it. And so you can um, cocktail it, you can put it in with your moisturizer. It blocks the um, pollution and the free radicals that are in the air. And like I said, it was our first um, anti-pollution product, if you will. So, um, and so that's how you use the Guardian. So it's gonna protect your skin from the environment and that's part of the pollution solution sale package this month. So that package consists of your City Detox, which I already washed my face with. And y'all have seen the City Detox. This came in the Beauty Club uh, last time. This is the best thing ever to travel with, ever, ever, because it makes no mess. You can keep it in your carry-on. And it, just so you can see, it, it's just a powder. It's charcoal, um, aloe, and it literally, and see how full? I mean, it's powder all the way to the top. It takes you a long time to use it. You just wet your hands. I've poured some into a separate little container to use in my shower, and the wetter my hands are, the more it lathers. It is just absolutely, um, the coolest cleanser you've ever, ever used. Okay, so that's off. Now I'm gonna apply a little of my cloud cream. Is that not the prettiest product you've ever seen? I mean, it is like a cloud full of water, and when you put it on, it's like a water balloon just burst on your skin. 
if you're oily, you need the cloud cream because if you don't like moisturizers, but you need the hydration, you know, at my age, it's, it's, this, it's this tricky place to be. We need hydration, but we don't want to be oily. So um, that's what the cloud cream can do for you. This completely blocks the pollution, the blue light that we get from our phones, our computers. Um, so the cloud cream is one of my favorite products that we've came out with since I joined the company. You know, it's a gel to water serum. So it goes on like a gel and then it explodes into water. Um, let's see. It's, you know, hydration without being greasy. See if there's anything I want to tell you important about it. You know, aloe naturally holds in the water and is a natural anti-pollutant. So just using our regular products, you've got anti-pollution with the aloe, but this just kicks it up a notch. And it's, it's you know, our skin is a giant filter. So this just helps our filter do its job. And, you know, it's not enough anymore to just wash your face and slap on some sunscreen. That's not gonna cut it anymore in our toxic environment. And that's where these this new anti-pollution system has come in. And we've got a special this month with the City Detox, the Cloud Cream, the Guardian, and you can cocktail the garden, Guardian. Add it into your moisturizer, your, um, you know, your face set, whatever you wanna mix with it. And then when you buy that package, you can add on the new Satin Shield. So I'm not gonna use any other moisturizers because I am very hydrated from the mask. And so I'm going to lightly spritz my face with the set and shield. Like I said in the video the other day, mm, you can smell the lavender, it smells so good. It's very relaxing. But this is charcoal, aloe. You know, I, I'm, like I said before, I've been waiting a long time for a setting spray, but I never thought about using the setting spray before my makeup application. So I've put it on and it sort of gets the excess um, oils. You know, there's a difference between being hydrated and being oily. You know, they're not the same thing. And so that's why I'm doing that, you know, before my makeup. And you can see it just, it just starts to dry immediately right away. Um, and you can get that for $16.95. Oops, just turned all my brushes over. $16.95 when you purchase the Pollution Solution Kit. So the Pollution Solution Kit is regularly $130, you guys. These three products, $130. And it's on sale for $97.50. And if you get 25% off, your cost is $73. And if you get 35%, like I do, and many of you do, it's $63. So all three products for $63. Um, what a steal. What a great value that is. You know, if you haven't tried those products or if you love them and you're just, you know, out, you're running low on it. And when you do that, you can add on the setting shield for $16.95. So that's like, I don't even know, 70% off, 75% off of this. So it's a great deal on that package to really get you all into the pollution solution line there okay so going back to some other items that are on sale let me look at my sale list okay so the um the beauty parfait is normally 52 dollars it's 10 dollars off and then you would get 25 percent or 35 percent off of that it just calms my skin down so much and i'm so hydrated city detox is on sale by itself and then this palette which is normally 36, is on sale for 20 bucks, 19.95, plus your discount. Hello, Christmas, stocking stuffer. This is an amazing gift for the teens in your life. If you're a makeup junkie like I am, you'll, um, you'll wanna use this yourself. You know, for those of you that are new and never got this before, you're gonna be able to get it at a steal. For those of you that loved it like I did and your palette looks like this, then you can add another one to it. You know, it's not like I need two of these, um, like Durham Bogo, because it lasts a really long time. Mine's lasted me now about a year, and I'm only out of about four of the items. Um, so it's great to be able to get one for myself that cheap, unless you're doing gifts for people. Okay, and then what else is on sale? The Flawless and the Eyewitness. So Flawless is the primer that many of us use, um, read this that many of us use to fill in our pores so if you're someone out there that has large pores now the satin shield is a mattifier and it diffuses your pores as well but if your pores are out of control the flawless counteracts the red 
and then it also fills in the pores on your face. So that's sort of been my favorite makeup product I've, I never knew I needed um, since it came, since I joined the company. Um, and it's also anti-acne. It helps with breakouts, acne. Um, it corrects, so you can use it under the eyes. You can use it on your eyelids. You can also mix this with um, something I've done, another product that's on sale, the um, Eyewitness. So, number one, I keep these in my fridge because I wake up some mornings. This morning, I'm not puffy at all, but I wake up, my dark circles have gotten worse than they used to be. So, something I've done recently, because this is sort of a trend, too, to buy tinted eye creams, is I've taken one of these little containers. I got these from Amazon. I'm obsessed. They're so tiny. I can put foundation, um, whatever I want, but I have mixed eye cream and Coraline lipstick. So you could do that with your eye cream or you could do it with your Flawless because Flawless is anti-correcting as well. So you could do either one of those. But for those of you that don't have the Flawless, this is a great way to try it. It's on sale. It's an expensive item, so it's on sale. So you can get it at a much better price. But um, if you don't have the Flawless, you know, the new Setting Shield is going to be great for oily your skin and large pores as well. So I've been trying to just use the setting shield lately to see how I like my makeup without the flawless because I'm addicted to flawless. And I'm still just using a little right here, trying to cut back on it. But um, I still just like a little bit of the flawless. But you don't have to have that. But if you do have the flawless and you're like, I don't know what all to do with it. It's for the pores, you can use it all over, but I generally only use it right here. Um, but what I have done is mixed the orange lipstick. It is the best little hack I have done ever um, because I have, I'm, I've never really struggled with circles and all of a sudden now I am. So I have made my own rose colored, uh, peach colored, whatever you want to call it, eye cream by mixing the Coraline lipstick, which a lot of us have from the beauty club it's very orange with the eyewitness. You know, eyewitness is a beauty bomb. And I know that looks funny. So um, I'm gonna take off just outer corners, take off my chapstick. And what that does is the peach corrects the blue, the green, the purple under eye circle. And then you come back later with your concealer. You can buy um, correction under eye products if you want but I just made my own. I've, I've actually got an orange one that I bought from Ulta for weddings, but I like my own better because I can add more peach or orange or, or less. I can customize it to what I want. Okay, so that is my eyewitness mixed with Coraline lipstick, and it is the best under eye. It just cuts the blue. It cuts my circles almost immediately, and you can control how orange or how subtle you get this. Um, okay, now getting into the fun part of makeup, I will forever and ever and ever always use um, Luminous Tint. But what I've really enjoyed doing lately is I take a little bit of Luminous. If you're oily, Luminous is probably not the product for you because it has olive oil in it and it does create you know, really beautiful slip on your skin. Sometimes I just use it by itself on the weekend if I'm not putting on any makeup. I just use um, moisturizer and luminous tint and a little mascara and that's all I put on. Um, but what I'm enjoying doing, because I have been drier, especially lately, is I take my light tan, the new Be Picture Perfect makeup, I'm mixing them together, and then I just come in and I'm getting that slip and my skin is already very hydrated. Um, you know, if you're oily, like I said, it's not something you'd want to do. I need my mirror. All right, so I cannot get this makeup on with my hands. Um, I know some people have told me that they love using it with their hands, but I think they're oilier. This makeup makes the best under eye concealer too. I'm telling you, it makes me look flawless, and I'm trying to leave my skin a little dewier these days, and I'll show you in a minute what I mean by that. But this gives me such a glow putting that luminous in it you can use it the, the luminous of course by itself um but i'm just sort of the light tan is a smidge dark for me but the golden medium is a little light 
Um, and so by putting a few drops of the luminous in it, I kind of get the best of both worlds, okay? So I smooth that out and that's done. Come back with a little concealer, which I cannot seem to put my hands on right now. I don't see my concealer. Um, okay, so I'm gonna use a little of the light tan as a concealer since I can't, since I don't have my concealer right here. The light tan is a great concealer because it has a lot of yellow in it. And I'm not super careful. I am not a super uh, anal makeup person. I get it on and then I finish by blending really, really well. And beauty blenders are, I couldn't live without them, especially around the eye area, okay? All right, and then with powder, since this is such a full coverage makeup, I've gotten to where I'm trying to lighten up on the powder just a little bit. My powder brush is gone too. I'm very, not very organized here today. Okay, so I'm gonna take a fluffy brush. It would be the powder brush, but this one is, and I'm just gonna lightly, you know, get off some of the moisture. And I kind of skip the cheek area because I want my cheeks to kind of be dewy, you know, like a young girl and not quite so, you know, matte looking. So I kind of am not drying off that area right there. So this is just kind of a light dry off. It's not the heavy powder that I normally do. And I'm gonna go back to the winter nights and come in here and use a little bronzer. We have the Rock and Rose. For those those of you, I know Liam was looking for a contour product the other day. The Rock and Rose doesn't have any sparkle. For me, for the summertime, I love this bronzer because I like a little shimmer. Even though it's technically October, it's not summer anymore. But in Augusta, Georgia, it feels like summer. But look, that is very, that's all the contour I need. But I did find out doing the little TV gig that the sparkles are not good for TV. So, but for everyday life, they're very pretty. And then just a little highlighter up here. And I love using that highlighter um, you know, on my eyes as well sometimes too. And I'm not going too crazy with that. And then I'm gonna come in with this burgundy kind of plummy blush and add some blush. I've really become a blush person. Um, years ago, I didn't use as much blush, but I've lost my cheeks and I've always had really nice cheeks and they've kind of fallen to my jaws. So now I really kind of do a little more with my blush. Okay, so that's using, you know, this whole palette. So a little under the eyelashes, cause you know, I'm always gonna tight line. And this is our old black eyeliner. I couldn't find my new one. Sounds like I need to reorganize. It's hard to do this looking up. Normally I look down when I do it. Let me look over here. Okay. Okay, so um, I stuck myself in the eye, so now I'm tearing. Um, I always tight line because if I don't wanna look super made up, it makes my lashes look uber dark and super um, lush. And then if I want, you know, I've already got liner on top and for today that's really enough for, you know, the look I'm going with. But I am gonna take a little of the brown out of the um, winter nights one of the darker browns right here and just sort of punch up my brows just a little bit. See, just that little bit. I've got pretty decent brows. I'm thinking about getting microblading because it would help thicken them up, but that's just using the brown powder, you know, out of my palette. And this brush came from Sally's. I really like that brush because it's got the spoolie on the end plus the, um, the applicator. And it's just that, I think it's by Ardell. Yeah, it's an Ardell brow spoolie, brow brush, and I got it from Sally's. All right, so I don't do much to my brows. If I really want, you know, Instagram brows, I'll use our Wow Brow Kit. And then I'll always come back with a brow gel, which we don't sell. This one's empty, but um, I don't really use it much for the color as much as I do to keep them up. You can also use the wax and the Wow Brow Kit, but like I said, I don't always use that kit unless I'm really trying to make my brows look, you know, super thick and full. 
So I only use this to sort of stand them up. And this is a, a cheap one from Sally's uh, drugstore, something like that. Okay, so that is that. Note to self, look at mirror when you're doing your brows. Okay. I am going out today, so I don't need to look scary, even though Halloween's coming up. Um, and then mascara is next. So I always take my powder. Y'all have seen me do this for years. And I always load my lashes with my powder. And then I come in with my mascara. The powder is sort of like using a primer and it really bulks your lashes up. Let's see if I can get closer. Okay. So I turn my A-list wand upside down and I just get in here and I you know, basically don't even open my eyes, but I've been doing this for so long that it's not hard for me. And what I love about the A-list, the Argan Oil is very good for my eyelashes. I'm an eyelash junkie. Then I'll come back and do a slower coat. I'll catch my eyelashes at the bottom. And you know, mascara is like a push-up bra for your eyes, for your face. It just really lifts your, you know, it lifts that whole side of your face. All of a sudden you look awake. But it is a big difference when I don't put the powder on my lashes first. The powder gives it something to cling to. So I kind of get in there and do a fast coat. And then I come back and do a slower where I close and blink, push them up. And remember what I said, if you get a little boo-boo, just let it completely dry. And once it's dry, come back with a Q-tip and twirl it and it'll come right off. And then a little on the bottom. I'm trying to go lighter on the bottom these days, but it's just a habit and it's a hard one to break. Um, but I am a mascara junkie and I've been using our new trying our new lash serum that will come out hopefully by the end of the year you wait you guys are going to love 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 it um i'm hoping november but it might be you know more towards the end of the year before we get it but for people that say they cannot get drama out of a list i mean look at this drama and you saw my naked lashes two minutes ago and what i love about this mascara is i can build it i can add and add and it just never clumps uh, don't forget the corner lashes. I just hold it vertical and come in here and really pull out my corner lashes. As I've gotten older, I've noticed that I really need to focus on the center lashes. I used to always really worry about the outside corners, but now the center ones tend to open my eyes up a little more. That's so pretty. I mean, I just, I love this mascara. I know some people say it's not enough drama for them, but, um, I've went and bought a few other mascaras the last few months, trying out some others, and they just make a mess on my eyes. Nothing makes my eyelashes do like this. It makes them fan out that way. Okay, I'm trying to zoom back out now because you've got such an up close. Oh well, I can never make it zoom out once I zoom back in. And then for lips, quickly, I'm gonna come in with our lip palette, and I've been loving this red lately but I don't put it all over. I kind of do like that. And then I take a clean finger and just smudge. I'm not using pencil today because I'm not, um, oops. Oh gosh, I did something weird. Trying to zoom this dang thing back out. Now I'm just doing something funky with the light. But anyway, I put on that red. I'll back up here so you can see the whole thing. And then I come back with rose dust. And it's sort of a, a nice little fall, you know, kind of look. And then to finish, I always spritz my beauty blender. And I'm coming back in and I'm just lightly, you know, blending. And, and the main thing is it removes excess powder. I mean, I wish you could see up close in person. It is flawless. There's there's no makeup sitting off on my face. There's no product lifting. And I come back and pat it. You can spritz it. It just goes all over my lashes and I don't want those wet. So you could spritz it before your mascara. But um, I like doing it this way because I'm putting the setting spray on 
but I'm also um, removing excess product. And then one of my favorite things that I've done lately is I love our face paints, and a lot of you have these from previous beauty clubs. Um, I don't like being so, there we go. Okay, now I can come back up closer. Okay, I don't know why I can't zoom sometimes, but I will come back with face paint when I'm done with all of my makeup. And again, when I traveled um, last week to Israel, I put one in one of these little containers, and this is the Tuscan. This is the most user-friendly one. It looks like this. Um, and, I, and I've already got powder blush on, but I like the dewy, uh, creamy look. So I'll come back with the Tuscan, and this is just a cheapy little brush from Walgreens or somewhere because I'm gonna load it with this cream, and you'll see how I'm just kind of pushing it. And the other day when people were, you know, really complimenting on my makeup, I think it was, it's the dewy look between the luminous tint and this blush, and this stays on me. Do you ever feel like your brush your blush just goes away? I always use the bronzer and a powder blush first, and then I just kind of come back on with this and kind of tap it until I get it as dark as I want. And I really enjoyed the summer when I didn't want anything on. Maybe we we're gonna be out at the pool, we had company. I would take the Tuscan and just put it on my lids and it was gorgeous um, by itself. And then lastly, I will come back with just a little powder and with my chisel brush this time, and I go down and I'm just gonna take the edges off my blush and make sure my concealer's dry. And look, no circles and it's because of the concealer and the Coraline, but it's such a pretty diffused look. I feel like my makeup looks like I have a filter on my face, and you know, part of it is the luminous, and the, the new Satin Shield, I feel like has done wonders for my makeup. And then I'm just obsessed with the cream blush. You know, if you're oily, it might not be your thing, but I've gotten older, and I just like a little bit of creaminess and texture to my skin and not being so flat. And that's what the cream blush does for me. I don't like putting it straight on my skin for some reason, unless I'm just gonna be running to the gym or, you know, I like, I like my contour with my bronzer and I just like what this does, the look that it gives me. And you can put this in your purse, you can travel with it. You guys, one of these things is gonna last the rest of your life. And you can order these from Amazon and you can give one to your daughter, one to your mom, one to your sister, one in your travel bag, one in your makeup kit. Um, you know, I've got to where I'll keep one in my purse and then I'll just tap it on if I feel like I need a little blush during the day, which you can also do that with your lip palette. I think these are completely gone and we're sold out, but um, I change these up. I use different lips every day. I added some, a little bit of brown to that. So anyway, I hope you guys have a good week. Um, you know, that was just a fun little out the door makeup, which turned to be a little more dramatic than um, I would have normally done just to go run around. But I wanted you to see all the products that are deep, deep on sale. Look at the sale products, do the math, add your 25%, add your 35%. If you're a client, you get the sale price. Only members get the, um, you know, the extra discount. So if you're not a member, you know, join us, 39 bucks. We, you know, hey, just, it's just it's crazy not to. Um, but look at all the sale prices and see what really things that you're, you wanna try or things that you love. And look at the Pollution Solution Kit. Um, and then I hope you enjoyed this quick little makeover. And if you have any questions, um, let me know. This was the light tan makeup, by the way, but I did mix it with Luminous to lighten it up just a little bit. You can mix those together. You can add it to a little moisturizer. Hey, if you guys wanna make a CC cream, take one of the darker makeups, add it to your correction code, and you've got a CC cream. That's what I used to do back in the day before you could buy CC creams. I made my own because I could control how dark or how light I would get with it. And with these little containers, you know, you can make lots of different shades of CC cream. So have a great week, everybody. Let me know if you have any questions. Put a comment below. Um, you know, some makeup things you'd like to see or you'd like to see me do. So I want you to see how smooth that makeup went on and I do have dry skin and it did not grab, it's not stuck, it's blended beautifully and I've never ever in my life, 54 years old, I've been wearing makeup since I was about 
16, 14, somewhere in there. Never gotten as many compliments as I do right now on my makeup. And I know it's just, it's so diffused, it's so blurred. It literally looks like I have a filter on the makeup. But the key is to be hydrated and exfoliated. No makeup looks good, I don't care whose line you're wearing, on top of a bunch of dead skin. So get rid of the, um, the flakes, the yogurt parfait actually helps to remove very superficial dry skin while at the same time, crazy hydration for your skin if you're dry. Going into the winter, you know, check this out, especially those of you that live in colder areas, you know, get you one of these while it's so cheap on sale. So have a good week, everybody. Bye.